Hello, Skin Nation. I miss you all so much. I hope everyone is safe and healthy and doing well in these super, super trying times. Uh, right now I'm filming this on um, Sunday and it's Sunday, May 30th, and there is a lot going on in the world. So my intention here is to send peace and love and ultimately self-healing beauty tips from a pro that you can use on yourself to de-stress. So love and light, everyone. Now back to beauty. So I want to use this as a time to inspire everyone to take a moment for themselves. It can be 10 minutes, it can be 15, 30, 60 minutes, whatever it is. I want to give you some tools to de-stress because ultimately de-stressing is anti-aging, right? So this is a really good way. This is called um, Tension Tamer and shout out to the one and only Cecily Braden. That's where I got these um, tutorials from and I've learned so much from her uh, about Gua Sha and I've really enjoyed, I feel like it's been one of the blessings, a silver lining to the cloud of the pandemic for me personally, uh, professionally too, but personally to have learned and followed Cecily and um, her colleague Kristen and learned so much about Gua Sha. I really um, am very thankful, very grateful. So, um, a little housekeeping. It goes without saying that I'm using clean hands. So, really take care of your hands and, and wash them thoroughly and also hydrate and moisturize. So, this was a request Thank you, Kim, for requesting um, these mushrooms. We call it Tension Tamer. And this, I hope, is something that you can use on your own at home as needed. These particular ones are made from Bloodstone. And I'm gonna put my website in the description box so you can send me a message if you wanna pick these up. Um, Bloodstone is great for purifying lymph and for um, the circulatory system and for grounding. And it's really, um, I love the shape of these because we can use the larger, the larger ends and the back. All right, so I'm gonna give you a quick overview of something you can do at home. The first thing that I did is I took a clean white washcloth and I put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds and then I left my bloodstones in the microwave um, towel. It's wet and so they got nice and warm. Don't put them in the microwave and don't overheat and burn yourself, so be real cautious. The reason I use white washcloths, if you've watched my Instagram or if you've watched some of these other tutorials, there's no dye, um, and so we're also, which is irritating to the skin, and then we can bleach them, okay? So they're nice and warm. The next thing that you're gonna need, uh, well, from me, is we have to put this up. I hope everyone's been doing well. I've been thinking about you. All right, so we wanna get that I want to get that thing up there. All right, let's ignore the crazy look. <laughs> Curly girl problems. All right, so nice and clean palette. My face is clean. As usual, there's no filter. And um, okay, this is gonna distract me. So right now I'm totally obsessed by um, sea buckthorn oil, and this is called Best Skin Ever. Again, just inbox me if you want any of this, but what I do is I pump out 
let's say four or five pumps. And because this is anti-stress, right, we're taking a deep breath. We're grounding. And I'm warming up the oil in my hands called blooming. So we're blooming the oil. And now we're really bringing in sort of the five senses and we're connect and I'm connecting, right? And we're connecting to what it is we want to call in. And as always, we do the back of the neck decolletage, right? And then, you know, that's my secret massage trick that I learned from Donna Noise Skincare. All right, now, take mushrooms. <laughs> you know, I love the sound. All right. So we take them and we want to start on the neck. And for these, we're sort of using different stroke techniques. So it feels really good. Can you wait, can you see? There. Circular motions. And we're at right here, bottom of the occipital, the occipital bone. Sorry, I had too much caffeine. Okay, and we're going up and we're making nice strokes because these are long strokes, circular motion. You can take the smaller tips and really kind of get in there. But first we wanna, we're seducing our skin here and the lymph. We're not jumping on in and scaring this girl here. We're seducing nice and slow, consistent, coming around the sternocleoid mastoid, right? So this feels super good. Up under the ears, smooth strokes down, a little pressure going up. Sternal, cleoid, mastoid. This was the traps here. Super tight traps. I did some gua sha scraping on myself the other day. That's also great for tension and stress. And you can see here I did some extractions because the mask is breaking me out. And um, so I'm feeling everyone's pain here with their skin. A lot of this is intuitive, right? We're coming down on the platysmal. And these are all muscles of the face. I think there's 42 muscles of the face, but I always start on the neck and then let's open up the decolletage. We can do a little thymus pump. That's great for the immune system. Maybe I'll do a video on tapping EFT, emotional freedom technique. That's really been helping me too. So we're opening up the decolletage, coming up on the platysmal. And again, so much of this is intuitive. I mean, we can study all the choreography. Jeez, now I get a lot of stress right there. TMJ type of stress. So this is really good for TMJ. Let's. And you want to do three to five strokes, but let's right there. So if you feel some knots, I, or adhesions, see it's getting a little pink. That's okay. But a lot of times, like my patients and myself, you know, we look at our faces, we think that it's sagging, but in reality, it's lymph. And it's these adhesions that are causing tightness here and then pulling. So when you loosen the adhesions, it actually tightens. See that? 
and then I like to turn them around again to the smaller side and work this right up under there and sculpt, right? And chest in 20. A lot of these points are acupressure points from traditional Chinese medicine. So again, th these are sister techniques to gua sha and cupping, lymphatic drainage. And my stone just got so hot this is where mind, body, and spirit creates mindfulness. Because when I was working under here, this stone got so hot. Woo! We smile a lot and hold tension here. Ooh, right there. So just kind of stay in these places and work that out. Bring it on out here. Under, yeah, the stone is so hot. So I'm going to go back to that spot. Gently around the eyes. Gently here. We can stop right here. We hold a lot of emotional tension in this area here of our brows. So you want to stop and glide. And swirl. Again, these aren't really technical terms, but we're stop, glide, and swirl, and go up on that forehead, right? I've seen such a big improvement in my skin quality. I don't have any injectables in this face, right? Ah, oh, that feels so delicious. I just wanna take a breath. Right? So you really want to follow. You can feel how calm it's gotten and relaxing. So be instinctual about it. Sure, these are technical spots here. And go into that hairline. Get that crown chakra. So it's third eye. Crown chakra. You can actually stop here. Right, remember that acupressure video I did? Oh, that feels so good. We get a lot of scalp tension, right? This is so good for your hair, hair growth. Bring that on up there and swirl. What do you guys think? I'm loving, I feel so good. <laughs> I'm gonna shut the video off and keep going. It feels so good. It's stressful. These times are stressful. These stones are so hot. So to clean, to finish, wait, let's finish in the ear. I'm an obsessive ear squeezer. When you come to see me for facials, I love to massage people's ears. There's so many points on the ears because again it's like the hand reflexology foot reflexology face reflexology and ears so they believe that it's like the shape of the fetus right so different points you can affect um, the organs of the body and again this is not medical advice this is not me saying that you're going to cure you know crazy ailments by squeezing points on your ears but you are definitely going to release happy hormones and you're definitely going to affect your energetic for sure. So finish on the ears. And I do like to do a quick glide down. Right? And finish again. So I'm going to come back to it. These are mine. So I do like to charge them in the sunlight. They are stones. They are gems. I clean them in the moonlight. And then wash them with soap and water. And um, then I take... Another clean washcloth to finish. And wipe everything down. I mean, this is a mini facial. This feels so good. And it can't replace a professional facial or professional treatment. Oh, man, I messed my eyelashes up. You know, because I'm always doing these videos with no makeup on. <laughs> And I had mascara on today. 
anyway um, so we're not trying to replace you know the professional treatments but certainly these are supportive tips and um, treatments self-care rituals that you can do for yourself okay so nice and clean and then um, just to get the residue of the oil off this is my new fave and this is a tonic like this is I'm gonna spray it all over because I've been dry I've been putting a ton of sunblock on um, but you can use you can spray it all over I usually spray it on a cotton round and then come behind to clean the rest of the residue off there's definitely a difference between toners and tonics you can use gauze all right, so now I'm super clean. And moisturize and sunblock as usual. Okay, I'm ready for a nap. That felt so delicious. So good. I feel really rested. I hope this is helpful to you. I hope that I've been of service. And I'm sending a ton of love and light out there. Stay safe, everyone. God bless you all. Stay healthy. Thank you.